Good morning. So today we're going to just show you how to do the 12 minute McArdle's treadmill test. Um, things you need, treadmill, uh, McArdle's patient, um, the Borg pain scale, which I will uh, refer to if I'm in pain every uh, minute or so and where that pain is, and then a heart rate monitor and I'm wearing one. Currently we're at about 75 beats per minute, I think. And we'll record that every minute as well. So I'm going to start quite slowly. Um, normally, at the moment, I'd be starting off at about 3.3. And I'll just uh, record my heart rate every minute and any pain that I feel. So and we'll also record the distance. 3.3, this is so far pretty easy, so I'm just going to increase the pace a little bit. And we're now one minute in. My heart rate is 90 beats per minute. Uh, and I've done, I don't know what that is, uh, 0.06 of a mile. Um, I'd say there's no pain presently, so we're going to try and change that a little bit. I've increased it to six. Still at the moment, no pain, and we're coming up to two minutes. The heart rate has gone up. To 104 and I can start to feel in my calves probably at about a level of pain around one uh, or two um, now uh, rising a little bit to three um, so I'm just gonna slow this down a little bit so I'm gonna settle in here at five kilometers an hour for a couple of minutes. Uh, we're up to four minutes now. Heart rate 115 and we're going at 5.1 kilometers per hour. So we've done about uh, a third of a kilometer in four minutes. Heart rate 117. So I'm going to up it a little bit. I've gone up to 5.7 kilometers per hour. We're coming up to five minutes on the test. And heart rate now is at 119, 120. So it's modestly rising. It's five minutes in. Walking at 5.7 kilometers per hour. Coming up to halfway through the test. And we've done half a kilometer in six minutes. Let's just see what the heart rate is telling us. Um, 124 beats per minute presently. And now I'm going to keep going at this rate, 5.7 kilometers per hour till the end of the test, I think. And uh, we'll see what happens to the heart rate. Yep, 127 there. That's seven minutes and we're at 0.6 of a kilometer. Coming up to eight minutes here. Um, heart rate at 128. And we've done 0.7 of a kilometer and still maintaining our pace at 5.7 kilometers per hour. 
um, and I can't, just a modest, really tiny amount of tightness in the front of my shins, if anything, but nothing more significant than that. Heart rate now is starting to come down. Uh, it's at 100 and, was it 124? Now at 125. Can we up to nine minutes? But this now is quite a comfortable pace. Uh, here we go, we're coming up to 10 minutes. Heart rate. At 125 and 0.9 of a kilometer. Another minute, 10, and our heart rate is now 123. As we uh, approach 11 minutes, 122. And we've nearly done a kilometer, so one more minute to go. Heart rate now at 121, no pain. So really I've worked through uh, whatever pain there was by slowing down, just waiting to get in the second wind. So now heart rate, as we come to the end of the 12 minutes, we're now just over a kilometer and 12 minutes, we'll tick over and we'll have done a kilometre in a bit. So uh, here we have the results of uh, the 12 minute treadmill test. You can see um, that overall we covered just over a kilometre in 12 minutes. Um, heart rate peaked after about 8 minutes at 129 beats per minute and then gradually came down. Uh, despite speed staying the same, 5.7 kilometers. But um, when I tried to go too fast too soon, um, you can see that there was a two and three recorded after about two minutes when I tried to travel at six kilometers per hour, which was just a little bit too fast. Gradually, um, things eased off once I was able to get into second wind at about eight minutes and then heart rate came down and I was able to maintain that level of exercise.